Okay, hello folks, we're here with Carl Stewart, the global brand director of the new Tomb Raider. Um, so for the first question, um, obviously um, Tomb Raider has a long his history with game, of, of games. So um, why did you decide to make a movie? Um, so Tomb Raider has, has been around now 16 years and Crystal Dynamics were very fortunate and honored to be able to inherit the franchise and create its legend anniversary in the world. And during that period of time, we always felt like we wanted to put our mark on the franchise and at the same time um, sort of reimagine it for today's audience, sort of bring the, the franchise to a space where people will, you know, care for the character in a very different way um, and care for the franchise and understand the franchise in a very different way and bring a personality that we may not have seen before. Um, and we just felt it was the right time to be able to take this chance to, to tell an origin story. You know, Lara came on the scene. 16 years ago and she had twin guns and she was yes. ready as an action adventure hero whereas we never got to see that side of her before. Um, so obviously um, uh, uh, the Tomb Raider franchise is unique in that uh, there's a uh, player as a child of women, women who's uh, killing men. So um, does uh, being a woman play a role in the game? No, I think for us, you know, it's Lara Croft and she's female and she's our heroine. And, uh, you know, it's important that we, we keep her story and her backstory. But in terms of the style of game, it's more about you know a, a personal journey. It doesn't matter whether it's male or female. What we're trying to do is bring certain emotions and certain uh, sort of storylines to the forefront and have the player engage in that uh, in a way in which we've never done before. And, and certainly in the video game space, that very few have. So no, I don't think our intention was not to say, let's just create a storyline because it's just female. Yeah. Certainly, uh, it could be any, male or female, but it is in the end of the day Lara Croft, and therefore there is a side to it that is about female character. Well, for example, in other games, um, we have the heroes killing thousands of people, and they don't, they don't show any feeling or remorse. So that will be different in your game? Very different in the sense that we will be setting up the motivation of the story. And as she's 21 on her first adventure and thrust into this situation, um, that she didn't think she'd be in. She's never killed before, and she's never had to survive before. So we bring the player on this journey where they go through those trials and tribulations, and when they come out the other side after the first kill, about an hour or so into the game, the, the story is set up, and there's motivation as to why she's going to continue uh, to save her friends and uncover the mystery. So we don't want to. We didn't want to sort of take Lara and turn her into a cold-blooded killer from from day one. We wanted to go through that sort of personal journey of how she becomes the Lara Croft of uh, the future. So um, the game scenery is very unique. Um, it takes place on a very dangerous and primal island. Where did you take inspiration for the location? Um, in, in terms of actual location, it, it wasn't the case to say inspiration. We, 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 we decided long ago that we wanted to place it on an island, but we wanted to have it close to somewhere where we could take some history, um, some background and backstory. And you know, for us, sort of the, the idea of Himiko and Sun Queen, it was a it was a great narrative, a great story, a great opportunity for us to be able to build upon. And uh, you know, it, 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 the inspiration for inside of the game came from many places. You know, sort of the reimagining inspiration came from. You know, things such as the James Bond and the Batman Begins and how you take the existing franchise and turn them around. And then inside of it, actual sequences. You know, we looked at the climb out on the first uh, demo that we showed last year. Is is reminiscent of the movie The Descent. You know, when you look at Lara's character and you think, think of Ripley, you know, an alien starting as just another crew member and ending up as this kick-ass girl. So, inspiration has come from many different places and, and not just from one. So, uh, the game has a very cinematic presentation. And uh, who wrote screenplay? And uh, um, was it difficult getting a screenplay, screenplay written? And, um, and did, did you want to did you want, did you want to the game to be a, like a movie? Uh, yeah, we, we wanted to bring that, bring that, bring that deep narrative feeling to it, that the player would be immersed into a world. So therefore, you don't just write the script for that on day one and, and, and stick with it. It's an iterative process. Once you make sure you have a firm foundation and pillars set up, you can build upon that and you can make sure that you're carving out uh, the story that you want. So they take time. That's, that's, uh, that's a process that over the course of the last three years has just managed to evolve uh, to get to where it is now. Um, but you know, much like a movie, you go back and rewrite the scripts many times to be able to make sure that you've got it. Just the difference is that once you start, you know, principal photography on a movie, you've pretty much captured it, and it's very hard to go back in 
unless you have to re edit scenes. Whereas a game, you can play a game from start to finish very early on in the process and you can understand quickly whether or not a scene is working or not. And you can change that continually to a point where you feel, okay, well, the game is locked and you know, we've got to ship it. But uh, it's a very different process for us. Um, so let's talk about the gameplay. Um, Tomb Raider has, 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 has always been, been known for um, the shooting and the, pu and the, and the puzzles. Um, so will that be uh, different in the new game? Will there be new elements like um, the open world elements? No, we, we made sure from the very beginning that the game is built upon the pillars of, uh, of Tomb Raider of years gone by. So the puzzle solving, the exploration and the combat, they are firm things that we need to make sure that even if we were to reimagine the game, we couldn't forget who we were. So we've reimagined those pillars to make sure that when you play it, you feel like it's a Tomb Raider game. It's got the heritage. But the idea was to bring the pillars into a cinematic quality so that you feel like you're in that world. Um, as you play the game, yes, it feels almost like you're playing a movie at times. And once you know you're in control, then you can keep that sort of differentiation between how we are and not. As we demo the game sometimes, we have to sort of show people that we are actually controlling it because they think that it's it's literally like watching a movie at times. Um, so I think this, for us it's, uh, it's very important that we retain the pillars but we just build upon them and make them unique to the fact that we're reimagining not just the character but also a, a style of gameplay. Uh, so all in all, why do you think uh, the new Tomb Raider will be the best, best one yet? yet? Um, so I think this Tomb Raider will be the best because we've gone back and told an origin story of a character that we all love and care for and we're giving her a personality that we may not have shown in past games. We're showing you a side to her that you'll get to see a facet and a dimension that um, will help accentuate the situations that she's put in because you'll feel closer to who she is. Um, so I think in terms of graphical quality, by far, this is the best looking game we've ever created. Uh, in the studio, we've worked tirelessly to bring it to life. And I think when you look back after the game is uh, finished, I think we'll be very proud that we managed to achieve something very special. We'll, we'll leave the outcome to, to your hands as to what you think, but I think as a team in the studio, we, we work very hard to make this game be the game of our careers as much as possible. Okay, so thank you, Mr. Stewart. Thank, thank you for taking our time, and uh, we're really, really looking forward to the game. Thank you very much for uh, the interview.